Not sure what's recyclable and what's trash? Log on to okra.org. That's okra.org. Need a blue Ben? They're free from okra. Call 453-2866. Blue Ben it. A leader in electronic waste recycling projects in the Northeast is the Onondaga County Resource Recovery Agency in Syracuse, New York. The agency held a television collection on Saturday, April 19, 2008 in the Alliance Bank Stadium parking lot as part of the EPA Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge. The Onondaga County Resource Recovery Agency received an EPA grant to help offset costs of the recycling project. It was one of over a hundred projects involved in the challenge across eight states in the Great Lakes Basin. Organizers kept traffic flowing as 964 vehicles arrived with old TVs. The event took in 1,551 old television sets weighing 97,080 pounds. According to Andrew Radin, Director of Recycling and Waste Reduction for the Onondaga County Resource Recovery Agency. That means nearly nine tons of old TVs from central New York were recycled. The agency also holds ongoing e-waste collections at the Community Collection Center, also known as 3C, located at 6085 Court Street Road in Syracuse. The ongoing electronics collection dates and times are Tuesdays from 4 to 8 p.m., Thursdays from 8 a.m. to noon, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. There is no charge to drop off household e-waste and other items at the collection center, including old computers plus related equipment, fluorescent light bulbs, household batteries, cell phones, smoke detectors, tabletop copiers, DVD players, electronic game consoles like Nintendo and Xbox, fax machines, phones, VCRs, and stereos including speakers. The agency is developing a plan to accept TVs at the center. Over 60,000 pounds has been turned in at the Community Collection Center so far this year. The center is for household waste. Business waste is not accepted. The center also accepts books, but the covers must be removed. And in a unique twist, the agency is helping the hungry by asking residents who are dropping off items to be recycled to also bring canned food and other non-perishables for the Food Bank of Central New York. The Onondaga County Resource Recovery Agency is also known as OCRA for short, using its initials. Since 2002, OCRA has collected over a thousand tons of e-waste from the community for recycling. Okra has numerous ongoing and annual environment projects that benefit the Syracuse area, including its Blue Binnet campaign. Blue Binnet is based on the well-known blue bins that are popular in recycling projects across the country. Okra has a series of radio spots promoting its Blue Binnet campaign. Newspaper, junk mail, phone books, pizza boxes, Blue Binnet. Visit okra.org. Attention Syracuse, this is Dr. Rick Wright telling you it's time to take pride in your neighborhood, your city, and your world by recycling. It's time to use that blue bin. Newspapers and magazines, don't throw them in the trash. Blue bin it. Catalogs and junk mail, blue bin it. Empty cans and bottles, blue bin it. Not sure what's recyclable and what's trash? Log on to okra.org. That's okra.org. Need a blue bin? They're free from okra. Call 453-2866. Blue bin it. Junk mail? Blue bin it. Phone books? Blue bin it. Pizza boxes? Blue bin it. Soup can? Blue bin it. See what's recyclable and what's trash. Visit okra.org. Blue bin it. So, uh, you really don't recycle? Nope. What? Why not? What's recyclable? What's trash? Still confusing. Uh, it's really not that tough. Try me. Peanut butter jars. Blue bin it. Bananas. Trash. Magazines. Blue bin it. See? That's where it gets confusing. What do I do with my magazine about bananas? See what's recyclable and what's trash. And you don't have any magazines about bananas. Maybe I do. Visit okra.org. 
The goal of the EPA Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge was collecting and recycling a million pounds of electronics plus the collection and proper disposal of one million pills. The EPA says those goals were exceeded by 400 to 500 percent. The Earth Healing Initiative assisted some challenge organizers by offering interfaith liaisons to volunteer and encourage members of local churches and temples to participate in the Earth Day activities in their area. This video on the projects connected to the EPA Great Lakes Challenge was made possible by a grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency in collaboration with the EPA's Region 5 office in Chicago and the EPA Great Lakes National Program office also in Chicago in cooperation with the nonprofit Interfaith Earth Healing Initiative in Marquette, Michigan. The Earth Healing Initiative involves American Indian tribes and a coalition of churches, synagogues, and other faith traditions joining together to heal, protect, and defend the environment. Blue Bennett. I'm Greg Peterson, and you're watching Earth Healing TV.